It's been a while since we went on a drive. So here it is. Restarting my journey with a trip to Alapura. And you're going to join me on this drive where I'm going to explain the path, the time taken, the distance and the experiences that you can expect on this journey towards Alapura, also known as Alapi. We commence our journey from Vaitala Junction, which is the heart of Cochin city today. It is the busiest as well as one of the largest intersections in Kerala. We move on to Marad. Marad is an upcoming area on the outskirts of the city of Cochin, but famous for the hotels. Primarily two landmarks which feature in Marada is the Crown Plaza and the Le Meridian. From here, we move on to the Kumbulam Toll Plaza. This is the southern side of Cochin City towards Alapura and the main toll gate which is a prominent landmark as well. As soon as you cross the Kumbulam toll gate, you come across a picturesque location which is a huge water body and the beautiful backwaters of Kochi will mesmerize you. As soon as you cross the Kumbulam toll gate, you reach Arur junction from where the road actually deviates towards the left going towards Alapura. Arur is known for its industrial setup and the seafood industry which thrives in this area. From Arur, you move into Thuravur, which is famous for its Narasimha Swami temple, which is dedicated to the fourth incarnation of Lord Vishnu, the Narasimha. The temple has two main deities, Lord Narasimha and Lord Sudarshana, which is rare among the temples of Kerala. From Thuravur, you move into Chertala. It is believed a saint while traveling through Cherth found an idol of the Devi with its head immersed in a muddy pond. The Swami understood the divinity of the idol, took it out of the mud, cleaned it and consecrated it in a temple near the pond. Thus, the place is believed to have gotten its name as Cher meaning mud and Tala meaning head in Malayalam. The deity of the temple has the name Chertala Karthyaini. This is also the point from where we take a deviation towards Kumarakam. From Chertala, you move into Kalavur, which is the home to several large and small scale industries that extend from pharmaceuticals to koi products. From Kalavur, you move on to reach the Alapura Bypass. This is a new development in Alapura, a bypass which connects you with the highway bypassing the town of Alapura. And it's a beauty to watch because this actually gives you a beautiful view of the sea as you travel alongside the beach on this beautiful stretch. But we are missing that and this is the way we proceed towards the town. So here we are finally into the town of Alapura. We are passing through the beautiful canal and nearby is the main bus stand which is the central point of Alapura town. So it has taken about 1 hour 15 minutes for us to get to Alapura town center from Vaitala which is a distance of 56 kilometers. To be more precise and to be more clear, if you are coming in from the city, you need to add another 10 to 15 kilometers or about half an hour to 45 minutes, depending on from where you are actually starting your journey. So this is from Baitala to Alapura. So a beautiful drive comes to an end and here I am at Alapi. Give me a thumbs up, do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the bell icon. And stay connected. This is Shailesh signing off until the next one.